Hello again and today I'm gonna show you how you can remove or reset your Acer Aspire E5 BIOS password in very very few simple steps. First of all power on your laptop and right away start pressing F2 button on your keyboard. You're gonna get your enter current password box front of you. All you have to do now is press enter button five times or you can just enter wrong password three times. It's the same thing. Choose enter unlock password and press enter. There you go, you have your eight digits front of you. You'd have to write that down or remember it if you have a good memory, I don't. Uh, or if you're using your mobile phone, just stay where you are and keep your laptop op open. Anyway, I don't recommend to turn it off. I'm using PC, so I'm gonna just go to my PC now, open up your internet browser. Main thing is, is to have your internet connection. That's all you need. Like, doesn't matter what browser you're using, where you're using it. Uh, type in biospark.com. Uh, now go to the Acer BIOS Unlock and uh, click on Acer 8 digit BIOS Unlock. You're gonna have your input field there front of you and uh, type in eight digits from your laptop. In my case, it's 84472161. And after that, just press send request button. Uh, it should not take you more than, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds to generate your code. That's it now, any second, in my case, it's 31550167. Write it down, remember it, and go back to your laptop now. And type in exactly the way it was there. It's, it was, in my case, it was 31550167. You're going to have different numbers. So I'm just really saying out loud what I'm doing there. And you should be in BIOS now. Uh, you have to navigate with your arrows up to security and uh, set supervisor password. Just press enter there. Type in your key from BIOS bug again there. In my case, it was 31550167 and press enter after that. And two next fields, just leave empty and press enter again twice there and enter again here to continue and uh, navigate to exit now and exit saving sa changes and press yes. And that's it. Your BIOS password is removed. And on the next boot, you will have no BIOS password anymore. Uh, just remember now what I did there at the end. If you don't do that, if you don't go to BIOS, if you don't press F2 at the start of the laptop, you want to get that uh, enter BIOS password box again. So just do exactly what I did there and you'll be fine. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully it was helpful for someone out there and have a good life. Bye bye.